Hello guys, welcome to another video tutorial of ClassicRockTranscriptions.com My name is Juan Pablo Ordoñez, I am an Argentinian guitarist and today we are bringing you another Quicksilver Messenger service uh, song this is called When You Love and it's from the Happy Trails album um, ok, uh, remember that you can visit the site classicrocktranscription.com and find this transcription and many other great classic rock transcriptions okay um, so this this song is a full improvised song you know the whole band is doing an improvisation over B minor and Gary Dunkins is the lead guitarist of this one so it's a great piece of music to listen to Gary's ideas, how he approaches scales, the leaks over a minor progression. Um, so it's very interesting. Uh, so I just pick up, you know, a few parts of the song, like, like the one that you hear. Um, Gary will be playing a lot of pentatonic, you know. Uh, the song is on B minor, so he will be using the B minor pentatonic, uh, this one. <laughs> obviously in another positions too but he will have the the two notes that are left from the B minor natural mode you know uh, if you add C sharp and G to the B minor pentatonic you have the B minor natural uh, mode so it's like this the C sharp, you know, the ninth, he will lose a lot. Uh, and all that, those leaks, he will be using the nine a lot. Um, but he will add the minor six sometimes. Uh, something like that is on the second page. Uh, second system, you know. You will be using the G now. Okay, so let's take a look to the the part that I play at the beginning of the video that that starts at minute one tenth. Okay, so you have many great pentatonic leaks there, like. Just notice that on the transcription, yeah, I am on the page six. Um, you have a, a rock and roll lick, this one, and um, I, I put, I put, sorry, I put the um, the pick for you uh, for playing it correctly. Um, it's very important to to use the correct pick for playing this kind of fast lick, you know. So the correct way for doing this is down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. Or if you want, you can use chicken picking and use your pick and fingers. So you do down, middle finger, ring finger, like this. You know, and you can play it faster and save energy. Um, then another part that, that I wanna I want to show you a bit, it's on the page 7, we have some interesting bendings right there, like... Um, yeah, you have a full bend on the 12th fret of the 1st string, and then you release a quarter, yes, so be careful that is, um, it's difficult at first to find the correct pitch for the nose, um, after that you do you have some full bends that release half you bend full again and you release half full, half, full, half yeah, just try to practice this and find the correct pitch for the bendings and then you just 
do a quarter bend on the 10th fret. Okay, uh, another short part that I wanna I wanna point for you guys uh, is on the eighth page. You know, um, Gary will start playing some seconds and thirds. You know. <laughs> minor scale but during two or three bars he will play another mode that is called Lydian mode he will play you know? and that's very interesting because only for two or three bars in the whole song he will introduce over the the B chord you know uh, because John in that part is playing mainly so over that chord he will use the Lydian sound and that's uh, a different ambient uh, and interesting sound, you know? And then he will come back to the minor. Yes, yeah, so the Lydian mode is this one, it's a major mode. Augmented fourth, so it's it's a very nice sound, yeah. And then he comes back again to the minor natural mode, yeah. Okay, guys. So in this song, the band is improvising over uh, only one chord, over B minor, you know many parts of the song is only one chord and other parts of the song we have only two chords yeah you have everything write it down in the transcription so uh, one of the part where you have two chords is uh, is at minute 334 you have B minor chord and C sharp minor chord all right and in this part Gary um, approach to use the arpeggios of the chords you know in the in the other part that we talked before uh, he play also over those two chords but he plays mostly pentatonics you know but in this part he will he will uh, play more over the arpeggios of the chord you know over the b minor seven arpeggio over the C sharp minor 7 arpeggio. So uh, the part is something like this. Yeah, so he, he will be playing mostly uh, arpeggios instead of starting on the 4th fret of the, of the G string he will start on the open B, it's the same yeah. so. and now came the C sharp minor and he goes to the C sharp minor arpeggio then again the B minor continues with that idea, as you know, um, he increased the, the volume. Then he changed to the bridge pickup. Okay, so you have also some good uh, pickup changes right there. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoy the video. Please subscribe to the channel for being noticed uh, about new materials, videos, tutorials and stuff. And visit the, our webpage for more uh, classic rock transcriptions.com. Yeah? Okay, so see you on the next video.